Hey everybody, it's Matthew Rathbun, and whether you're leading a meeting or whether you're an instructor, you are using either PowerPoint or Keynote or both in your Zoom meetings. And so I wanted to show you a uh, tip that may help you better execute on your Zoom meetings using either, again, PowerPoint or Keynote, either one. And so here's the deal. We go ahead and log into Zoom and we get this nice handy dandy window and then we go to screen share. And for a lot of people, you're going to be doing one of two things. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, Keynote because it's the easier of the two to do this technique, although both of them are super easy. Um, and so I'm going to go over here and I've got my slide up and I want to share, but I need to be able to see what's going on here. I need to be able to see uh, what's going on with my participants, who's logged in, who's not. I need to be able to chat with people. And in a lot of areas, especially in, in the real estate continuing education area, you need to see who's there to make sure they stay logged in to get credit. And so when I am doing all that, I got all these windows open up. And what happens with a lot of, of instructors or meeting leaders or whomever is you go to share and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go share my window. And what your learner sees then is where the screen line is, your de developmental window, right? And so you've got, they can see the slides you're making and they can see your work board and storyboard here. And you can see that lines hanging off. It just looks sloppy, it's not great. And so some people do that. Or the op other option they do when they're sharing is that they do kind of this advanced thing where they go to a portion of screen and click share. And then that gives them the ability to drag the little green window over and highlight this portion of screen. And this is all that the learner sees, right? Whatever is in this window is all that they're going to see as you resize it into the scope of your thing. So you can still see your operating board and you can still see chat and all the rest. Um, but what happens is I move this and now it looks like garbage and they see this whole messed up thing and they're yelling at you. So that doesn't work either. And then lastly, what we see is people just saying, screw it, I'm gonna share my entire desktop so your learners see all of the stuff behind the scenes and all the mess. Now I'm, I keep a super, 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 super clean computer desktop because I cannot handle clutter or a mess. So Mine's always there, but a lot of you have like a bazillion, like any PDF and JPEG you've ever downloaded in your life is on your desktop. And learners like me look at it, get distracted, start getting nauseous because of all the clutter and hoarding you're doing on your desktop, and it's just a mess. So here's the solution. In your systems, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing here. And I'm going to go to Keynote. And in Keynote, it's super, super easy. When I click on play, I'm going to click on play slideshow in a window. So instead of the typical play slideshow, which shows your slides the full width of your screen, I'm going to create so that only a window is now created. And I can move around. There's my slides going up and down and all around. And then I'm just going to go to share and then choose the keynote window here. Hit share. And now the only thing that the learner or the meeting attendees see is just the slide. And see, I can move this around and I can go look at participants. And I'm going to set up my desktop in such a way as I can see now uh, the chat and the participants. And if I was really, if I had other people log in, I would move this window down here where I can see them. I can see when they're into what I'm saying or, you know, acknowledging it or when they turn off their camera or they're chatting on somebody else's phone so I can call them out. But I got all my dashboard stuff here on my screen by sharing a window. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing that. And then I'm going to, that's Keynote. And then, of course, you just hit Escape, Exit Out, or whatever you want to hit. In PowerPoint, it's really easy, too. It's not as easy, in my opinion, but it's super easy. I'm going to go over here to side, uh, set up the slideshow on my ribbon. So I'm going to the slideshow bar, and then on the ribbon, I'm going to go to set up slideshow. I'm going to click on here, and then you see my show type is presented by speaker, which is the full screen. It takes up your whole screen. It covers up all the other windows. You can't interact or see your audience very well, um, and then it's messy. They get to see all this other business going on. Or browse by an individual window. I'm going to hit OK. This is going to create the same thing that Keynote does in one step. It just takes two extra steps here. And I'm going to go ahead and play here. And now I've got a PowerPoint slide window that I can maneuver just like it was a PowerPoint um, on a screen somewhere. And again, I can resize this, go back to my 
uh, share, click the window where it's just the slides, and now I can present this way. Much easier, cleaner, quicker, uh, less nauseating than seeing a bunch of other moving parts and all the mess on your window and duplicate screens and stuff. And so that's it. That's my tip for meeting leaders and speakers to clean up your desktop, Set up like a command center where you've got chat and you've got attendance and video and all that and your slide's a smaller part. You should know your slides well enough that you're probably not reading off of them, so it's just a guide. You can see what they use. And it's been a great tip for me um, to uh, get, get, I really had to do some Googling around to find somebody that showed me how to do it. So I wanted to share that with all of you uh, so your meetings will go better and look better. Thanks so much for listening.